I'm gonna give you guys a quick little rundown here. We're gonna run some bass mechanic as we're dialing in the DSP, some test tones for you. And I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. This DSP right here, we are running the cadence. And when I say that this thing gives you a tune, that's what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about, let's just adjust the gains on my amp and let's just uh, set my, my crossovers on my amp to high pass or low pass or mess with my little radio and set the EQ across the board because that's what you're doing. When you have a radio and bike, an aftermarket head unit, and you're setting your frequencies from say 80 up to 20K on maybe a seven or 12 or 13 band EQ, that's adjusting it for all of your speakers. For all of these, all of these across the board is what you're doing. So you're setting a, a wide band in the EQ all the way across. What this guy right here is letting me do is this lets me adjust an EQ for each channel. So what I'm doing is I'm taking my eights up front that don't have tweeters hooked to them and I am setting them something along the lines of this right here which is going to be taking all this bass out of them. They don't want to play down here. They don't want nothing to do with that. 60 is kind of where they begin to do something. So we're going to leave that almost leveled out. And we're going to pound it all the way up here through about four or 5,000 hertz range. And then we're going to drop it off. The ones that have the tweeters hooked up to them, those are going to be set a little different because they're going to go all the way across the board. Now, the tweeters have bass blockers on them, so they're not going to do any of this stuff here. But we do want to boost that. Then we get back to the back speakers. They don't have horns hooked up to them either. And then down here, well, we can guess what that is. We got two Rockford Marine 8s, and they're going to pound sand all the way up in this low spectrum here. They really don't want to go down below that range. I think they're maybe a 30, 35 hertz response, so we don't want to give them anything really low down there. But what this is letting me do is tune each speaker on its own. My head unit completely flat. So back here we've got a nice little uh, display board that's going to give us our volume. And I'm going to run a couple beats for you. This is our basic uh, tuner test here. Let me open this sucker. And this is going to pound us some bass. Bass notes. Now, I don't know how well you can hear that, but when it comes to putting bass in a bike, I want to hear the tone. And that's what this is giving me. I don't know how well you can hear that through the video. But, this is just straight tonage all the way down, and this is going to go down to somewhere around 20 hertz on this file. But as we can see, this one doesn't have a woofer on it, so it's hitting, but it's not playing near as much as the subs that are in the bag are playing. And it's going to get harder to hear because the bass wave is so low. I'll try to put it near it. We can do here. Now, what I can do right here is I can come in and I can mute these, these channels like this. You see here, I can go turn them all off to where I'm just playing one channel. We're all channels. And then I can save that in here. Now, what? What we can do with the DSP is I can save multiple, multiple uh, tunes. I can come back here to this little guy if I don't have the laptop, and I can go, ah, I'm just going to hit memory one, memory two. So for you guys that want to run multiple classes, have subs in your bike, it would be just as easy for you to say, you know what, we have a tune for a lightweight class. What we want to do is come in, go to memory two, kill our subs, boost our mids and highs, and, and pound the lightweight guys and beat their brains out. 
And if you want to run a middleweight class, you come in and you go to select a different tune. You could also set tunes for different styles of music. If you want rock versus rap versus techno versus country. So that would give you some real adjustability in there on the fly. So we're going to play a couple more to you. Let you hear some clarity now. For these of you guys who are wondering, these are basically all DS18 products in this bike. And I've used a lot of them over the years. So this is a Candy 6, a Candy 4, Cadence DSP. We got some DS18 woofers up here. We got the DS18 410s up front. We've got the DS18s in the back. And we've got two Rockford Marine 8s in the back. Let's crank this up a little bit. I'll mention is these aren't like anything special in, in our bags here. These aren't base bags. They're not built to, specifically to house a subwoofer. The subwoofer was added to them, but I'm going to pop this up here and open this up. So give me a second. What we do have is we've got ourselves a nice little baffle in the bag, and this comes out. It's removable. So I can pull this out, and that's going to help separate some of my space. Going to help separate some of my airspace because this is all open down here, so we've got a decent amount of volume area, and it's just going to help some of those waves not fight that eight in the lid. <laughs> So, that's my little rundown on the Cadence DSP. Now, there are other companies that do make DSPs. This one just happens to be local vendor to me. I checked out the reviews, the specs on it, and uh, it, got, it did get some, some nice, uh, nice feedback. So, they'll set you back. If you buy one through me, they're like 300 bucks, somewhere around there, three and change. Um, and it is worth every single penny because a lot of you guys are spending a boatload of money on speakers. You're changing speakers every other day. You're buying two, three amps. So what you don't have the ability to do is really tune the speakers to let them do what they want to do. You have the ability to say, I'm going to set my EQ across the board at this, this, and that. Powerful, natural, whatever you want to call it. But what you, what you can't do is say, I want this one speaker to pound the hell out of some mid-bass. And that is it. Because once you take that speaker and you start giving it other things to do, it's going to sound like shit. It only wants to do what it wants to do. And some of these 8-inch mid-ranges are, say, 60 hertz or 80 hertz or 100 hertz to about 6,000 hertz. And if that's all you give it to do, that is its only job, it will be damn good at that job. 
if you try to give it that plus a whole bunch of other shit, it's going to be pretty unhappy. And that seems to go with your subwoofers. I hear a lot of guys running four six by nines or mounting ten inch subs in their bag or eight inch subs in their bag, and you know it just sounds like it's making a bunch of noise. You don't really hear a tone, and uh, that that really annoys me when you when you just come up and you just make noise because almost every song on here has a tone to it. And when you show up and you crank it up and you've got all this noise coming out of the back of your bike, but you don't have any music coming out of it, that is the reason why you aren't going to win these contests. So if you want to play with the big boys, you, you, you're going to need one of these. I mean, without one, you really aren't really going to pound sand. I don't really get into too much of the SOS stuff personally. i just not really up my alley these days, but I have no problem helping some of you guys who want to get there because it's all about knowledge and, and the way this bike rolled in is not the way it left here before and whoever fucked with my wiring jacked that shit up pretty good so pay attention know what you're doing know how to wire speakers together know how to adjust speakers so that you're giving them what they want to do and don't force them to do stuff they won't do you're going to end up blowing them all to hell so this right here not a real fancy head unit i don't know if you can see that the Pioneer, it's only got one set of pre-outs, just one. It doesn't have two, three pre-outs on it. So what we are doing is we're running that one set of pre-outs into the DSP, and that's got a four, uh, four, four pre-out option, and then we're running eight out of it. It's got eight channels out of the DSP. So we're running the Candy 6, which is going to get six of them, which is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. So each one of these is its own channel, and then the subs are going to be on their own channel. So even though they are, they're, uh, they're wired in stereo, they're not bridged, <coughs> they are on their own channel in the DSP so I can adjust them together, which is what we want to do. We don't want to, them fighting each other. So if you're interested in a DSP, you can shoot me a message. I can get you one. I've got one sitting over here on the floor amongst all my boxes. I've got one sitting right here. And these will work with factory head units. You don't even need to have necessarily an aftermarket radio because they do have a high level input option and it will clean across the board that frequency. So it'll flatten out that EP for you and uh, it will definitely help you fine tune your stereo. So check us out at AtlantaCustomBaggers.com. Follow us on Facebook and all that other shit. And, uh, We'll do our best to keep you guys updated whenever we do something badass. Later.